This is Yvonne, and I'm here with Julie and Jonas Hurley. And Jonas, it looks like you've been kind of busy over here. Yep, been making pots all day. Oh, making pots, okay. Making pots. And where are you from? Springfield, about three miles from here. Okay. How long have you been making pots? Mm, 20 years. 20 years, okay. So that one looks pretty darn good. Looks better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, where do you sell your pots out at? Um, at the Art Center in Danville, from our farm. Mm -hmm. I do a couple of little fairs like this. Uh -huh. Well, why don't you spin that for us a little bit so we can see your handiwork. Just kind of collaring in the neck. That gets the clay a little taller and thicker. Gets it a little uneven, so you need to cut that off. Wow, that's looking good. And then after you do that... You can come back in and give it a little pull here. To get it taller. Okay. And then close it back up. And then clean up the top again. Now, I know you've been doing this for over 20 years, but did, it, did, did your learning curve come at a certain length of time? Um, I was the uh, potter at Shaker Village for a couple of years and hanging out all day there making pots. Uh -huh. that, 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 that teaches you to improve. That looks fabulous. Thank you. So that'll take a little bit more tidying up, but it's mostly done. Put a little handle on it. Wow, those are terrific. I'm going to go over and talk to Julie a little bit, your, part, your partner in this. Julie, how are you doing yeah, today? Good, thanks. How are you? You've got a lot of great pots out here for sale today. Thank you. I'm, I'm the assistant. I'm, I'm actually studying up on bees while I sit here because okay. I'm getting beehives next weekend. Oh, but, so we started pottery together, and he took off with it, and okay. I did not. So <laughs> I, just, I help him out, and if I need a present for my mom, I can walk out to the garage and get it. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are in the pottery business? Yeah, I mean, it's just a, um, we have a farm, so we, we raise sheep and um, have raised pigs in the past and sell eggs and things like that, and then do pottery on the side. Yeah. So what made you guys come out here today to the Green Festival? Well, these are our neighbors and things, so mm -hmm. this is where we live and this what, is what we care about. Of yeah, it. yeah. Part of it. So okay. it's, and our kids love it. It's just okay. a fun place to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks for yeah. talking to us. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hi, this is Yvonne McNary, and I'm here with Sabrina Buckman. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? Good. And she's here with Washington on Wellness Coalition. That's right. All right. So you're going to tell us all about that, right? Yes. So this is an organization that promotes wellness in Washington County, and we welcome people from surrounding counties as well if they want to join us. We promote wellness in a variety of ways and all types of wellness. Okay. So you guys are out here today. What are you doing today? We are giving away some free things. So we have some coloring books on um, doing good things for the environment and saving water. We've got a prize drawing for a filtration system for water at home to both save some cost on bottled water and not to accumulate the bottles. Um, so try to be a little bit friendly toward the environment there while getting your water intake, and uh, which is good for your health. We're also promoting our Walk on Washington program. And this is a program just to promote physical activity. Okay. So people report their steps, and then they are registered for prizes. Wow, that's pretty simple, isn't it? It is. It's very simple. We try to make it very straightforward and convenient. Okay, now how do they go about getting in contact with you to do this? My information is on here. It's, we also have a Facebook page, um, our walk, our. Washington on Wellness Facebook page, and I work at the Washington County Extension Office, so people can find me there as well. Okay, and what's the telephone number there where they can reach you? It is 859-336-7741. Okay, now you were talking about disposable, those bottles that our water come in. Yes. Uh, they take up a lot of room in our environment, don't they? They do. They end up in a lot of landfills because only a small percentage of those actually get recycled. You know, not everyone takes the effort to recycle them after using them. Okay. I know we have a lot of sports people around who have their sports drinks as well as water in these plastic containers. What is some some ways you could tell them to handle these bottles when they're done? 
Well, definitely recycle them when available. There's recycling centers all over the counties, um, so definitely do that. And if possible, go ahead and use filtered water instead and your own refillable bottles, such as the one that I'm using right here. You can even get ones with different, um, this has a little cage in here, so you can add some different flavorings. You could add protein or whatever you needed for your sport, you know, whatever you need it personally, but there are all kinds of ways to customize your water needs without having a lot of water bottles to end up in landfills. All right, well listen, thank you so much for the information, and I, uh, give us that telephone number one more time. It is 859-336-7741. Thank you, Cabrina. I'm here with Angela Mattingly, and she's with Holistic Health Haven. How you doing, Angela? Doing just fine, thank tell, you. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Health Haven. Holistic Health Haven. It, it is a natural health store at 130 West Main Street in Springfield, Kentucky. And we sell all natural health supplements, vitamins, minerals. Uh, we do yoga, kids yoga, dance fitness. I'm an herbalist. We do uh, herbal consultations, meditation. Wow. You do a little bit of everything, don't you? Everything related to natural health. Tell us a little bit about the things here that are on your table here. Okay. Uh, right here we have some items that were made by an Amish community in California. Uh, it's uh, acid reflux tonic and a cramp relief tonic. We have essential oils, uh, herbal single blends, singles and blends, vitamins for kids, local honey, organic um, soaps, sprays, body washes. I have bulk herbs that I make tinctures and salves with. Uh -huh. Okay, now I'm going to back up a little bit to the local honey. Mm -hmm. I know there are some really good health advantages to that that a lot of people might not know that we want to share with them today. Yeah, if you have any type of allergies, you Which want to use... Half of Kentucky does. Yes, <laughs> you always want to use local honey. I think people sometimes think that any honey will do, mm -hmm. but it has to be local within a five mile radius. Okay, and tell us why. Because when you want what's in your area, what the bees, the bees that are uh, getting the honey from your area, that's what you're allergic to. Okay. So it's kind of almost like a, a natural allergy shot. Okay. So if you go to the store and you buy honey that's from Pennsylvania, that's not going to do you mm -hmm. much good. Or even Lebanon. Uh -huh. People in Springfield need to buy Springfield honey, uh -huh. Lebanon, Lebanon honey. Okay. Because we have our own set of yeah, little, within a little, five mile radius. Little things that are in the air over there, and mm -hmm. those are the things that we're allergic to. Mm -hmm. Okay, now tell us again about your, where's your store located? 130 West Main Street. Okay, now you've got a lot of wonderful things there, a lot of wonderful herbs. Uh, if uh, our viewers want to contact you about any of the different programs that you mentioned, what's your telephone number where they can reach you? It's 502-601-1840, but we're also on Facebook, okay. Holistic Health Haven. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you, Angela, thank for talking you. to us All right, today. thank you so much. Uh -huh.